In this example, we want to simplify the expressions and then combine like radicals. So in our first example, we have 5 times the square root of 24 minus 2 times the square root of 54. Now we're going to use the product rule for radicals to reduce these and simplify the square root of 24 and the square root of 54. So our first step, let's look at the 24. We're going to keep 5 here, but 24 is not a perfect square. But we can break it up into the factors that can be a perfect square. And those factors are 4 and 6. 4 is a perfect square. We're going to subtract 2. Now 54 is not a perfect square. But we know some factors of 54 are 9 and 6. And 9 is a perfect square. So now we have 5 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 6 minus 2 times the square root of 9 times the square root of 6. We know 4 is a perfect square so it equals when you take the square root it equals 2. So we're just going to move that out. So that's going to be 5 times 2 square root of 6 minus 2, now the square root of 9 is 3, square root of 6. Now let's multiply our coefficients. So this is going to be 10, square root of 6, minus 6, square root of 6. Now you can see that we have our like radicals, so we can just add our coefficients. Well, in this case, subtract. So 10 minus 6 square root of 6 equals 4 times the square root of 6. And that is your final answer. All right, in this example, we have x times the square root of 9x minus the square root of 16x cubed. So let's use the product rule. And we're going to split up my radicands. So my first one, we're going to make it x times the square root of 9 times the square root of x minus. Now 16 is a perfect square also, so we're just going to leave it as it is. Square root of 16. Now x to the power of 3 isn't a perfect square, but we can split it up into its factors of x squared and x, and we know x squared is a perfect square. So, if we solve this now, we have x, we know the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of x minus square root of 16 equals 4. This, now let's go ahead and do this. x squared, if we take it out of the root, equals x, square root of x. Now, I don't like my x in front of my 3 here, so I'm going to rewrite it. 3x squared of x minus 4x squared of x. So, we have like radicals now. So now we can just combine our coefficients. So we have 3x minus 4x times the square root of x. 3x minus 4x equals negative x. Bring down this, and it is negative x times the square root of x. And that is my final answer.